Hey, welcome back this morning. We're in the Gospel of Luke over here, chapter 1, verses 8 through 12 this morning. Let's read it and get into it. So it was that while he was serving as priest before God in the order of his division, according to the custom of the priesthood, his lot fell to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people was praying outside at the hour of incense. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. Okay, so we're going to pause there. So imagine you are Zacharias. There's, there's a, in the Israel at this time, there's a lot of priests. The Levites have been very prosperous, and they actually draw lots to see who will serve, and, and they serve only a small number of times in their life. It has come Zachariah's turn, and so he's actually there doing the things that, that he's supposed to do in the temple. And uh, so there he is. He's inside. He's all alone. And boom, there's the angel appearing on the right side of the altar. Now, on the right side of the altar is a position of favor, and Zacharias perhaps should have thought of that. But I think probably he's never seen an angel before. I don't think angels always appear to us uh, glowing. I think sometimes they appear just as common people. But in any case, uh, he sees the angel, and he's very troubled. And so that's going to play into what we read about tomorrow morning. Uh, you know, God understands, you know, we're not used to seeing every day with uh, seeing supernatural manifestations before our eyes, but Zacharias is kind of concerned because uh, this, this could be, uh, this looks kind of dangerous. Well, that's okay. God will work for us and we might have experiences that are uh, that way, but I hope that we're open to them. I hope that we want God to appear to us or have his angels appear to us, intervene in our life, give us wisdom, insight. This angel has, this angel has a message for Zacharias. We're going to hear about that tomorrow morning. But anyway, here we have, he is troubled and he's fearful. We don't need to fear God. We can fear God in terms of respect, but God is on our side. He wants good for us. Zacharias should have probably understood that, but he's, he's a little bit concerned here, and I guess that's understandable. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we may be surprised and uh, fearful if you do something, if you uh, have angels appear to us, or if you have some providential intervention that we're not quite expecting at that time. So help us, Lord, to be fully trusting of you. Help us to be looking forward to your interventions in our life, not, uh, not trying to run away from them or keep the status quo. May we uh, move on to higher ground. My Lord, may you be our leader. We thank you for hearing our prayer, and we don't need to fear you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we don't need to fear him. He's on our side. Look, he, he spent what's the most costly thing that was ever done in the universe. He sent Jesus to, to die so that I could live. Uh, I don't need to be afraid of him. What I need to do is find out what he wants and cleave to him and do those things. That's what I want to do. Isn't that what you want to do? God bless you today.